2002 Dodge Neon uh, 2.0. Uh, I got this car in. Uh, history on the vehicle. Uh, the guy that bought it uh, bought it with it not running, and uh, he can't figure out. You know what? The guy's a mechanic, so uh, he can figure out why it won't start. He checked compression, and uh, cylinder number one had no compression. They had forgotten to put the uh, ceiling rings or the uh, compression rings on it. But this is a 2004 engine on a 2002 Dodge Neon, and it's definitely the wrong motor. Uh, if we look at the, in channel one, that's my uh, crank, uh, uh, my crank sensor. Channel two, which is the green, that's my cam sensor. Channel 3, which is my blue, that's my uh, ignition coil. Channel 4 is my injector pulse width. Now what's interesting here, I did a little bit of research and to see what uh, is the synchronization on the 2.0s. And on the 2.0 you have uh, two sets of 4s uh, uh, on the crank sensor. It's four singles, a space, and then one uh, ID notch, and then the other three of space four singles and one with a notch, four, one with a notch and successively. Uh, that's what this engine should have and what I got here, uh, I went into my Mitchell for a 2004 and it says that uh, it has the 32 teeth with one reference notch on the crank, uh, on, the, on the crankshaft and that's what we see here. Here we see a group of 32 with one ID notch here we see another group of 32 with one ID notch and successively. 2004 uh, start, it starts but it won't, it cranks but won't start. And when you try to start it, uh, you take the key off and uh, there's a, you know, backfiring through the intake. But it's a wrong engine installed on this vehicle. 2004 engine installed on this 2002 Dodge Neon.